Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the end of November. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we're gonna take a peek at your person's energy and your energy and see what's going on there. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the info's in the description box below this video or in my about section on my channel. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on for you. I'd started your reading earlier, but it got cut off and I had to stop. So I'm redoing it, but the energy was kind of interesting. It was like there was a part of you that was kind of living between worlds. So we'll see if the same message comes up. It's like... I don't know how to describe the energy exactly. It was really interesting. So let's just see what pops out for you. In the recent past, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Cups. And then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. In your current energy, there's the Seven of Pentacles, the World, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In the near future, we have the Sun in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, oops, and the Queen of Swords. Now, the overall energy is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So there was a reason why that one didn't come out. And I'm going to say it's because there was a different message that needed to show up for you guys. The two of pentacles in reverse means that there's something that you have made it, you've definitely made a decision about. And I'll tell you with the ace of swords right behind that, it tells me you made it with such clear, concise, um, I want to say like straightforwardness. This is a clear conscience. There is no doubt that whatever this was, you had a moment of complete clarity and said, I have got to cut something out of my life. I can't keep going back and forth with this energy. And again, back and forth energy kind of relates to what I was talking about when it comes to being between situations. It's like you're living in the human, but you're also connected to the spiritual world. Some of you may be doing work in that area and you may be deciding that you have to coexist in both. In other words, you have to work a regular job and then you're going to do work in the spiritual world as well. And sometimes those two don't combine. And the reason this is coming up strongly is because I think there's a lot of you that are on the precipice of shifting into a different way of life. So I think you're making a decision and you may get to the point where you don't want to be in one situation versus the other. Now, if you're not doing that kind of work, this is could this could also be representing something that you had a difficult time choosing between. You were either deciding that you wanted to um, walk away from a work situation that was not supporting you, I feel like, anymore. And you finally came to the realization that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Because I can see with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse that there's some energy around not being happy with how far either you've come or how well you're being paid. Something specific about your finances is popping up there. So you're going to be coming out of an energy of feeling stuck because here, let me bring this back up again. If they come out, I will continue to pull them. The hanged man is in reverse, which means, yes, you're coming out of a place of feeling. Now, I don't think it's stuck energy. I just think that you were in a standstill position for a period of time. You needed to kind of pull back your energy and make a decision because then the Ace of Wands is coming right after that, which says what you're really being pushed towards is something that you're really passionate about. It could be that you want to paint for a living. I mean, that's just an example. Or you have some creative idea and you realize that you can't stop the normal job until you get this one going, but your energy is being pulled between the two things. So if you are that person and you're being pulled between two different energies, this is saying you're going to have that moment of clarity because I don't feel an energy of being stuck. I just feel like you're being pushed by the universe to understand that they're giving you the way. They're giving you the way out. In other words, if you have to focus on one thing at a time, then this is go with the thing that gives you the most drive, that feels the best to you, that you know you're going to love and enjoy doing. Okay, so in the recent past with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Cups, <clears throat> and the five of wands. If there was conflicting energy, this was internal conflict. I don't necessarily feel like there's a whole lot of external conflicts. Yes, they could have presented because 
you were being pushed to make a decision. Sometimes what happens with the universe is that if you're not moving in the direction that you're supposed to, things will become difficult. Either finances will be challenging, um, situations that you're not meant to be in will become more and more challenging. And here it's like the universe is trying to show you what you really want. It's like, you know, deep down inside and they're saying, hey, look, this is the opportunity for you. Don't fight it. Like, just follow what feels right to you at an emotional level, especially if you're not happy with where you are in your financial status. And if there's any other kind of conflict internal, just go with what feels right and trust that we'll have your back when you do that. Because it can be hard. It's really scary to make a change, especially if you've lived the majority of your life going in one direction and then all of a sudden you feel like, wait, how is this going to work? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. I've been conditioned to believe that I have to do things a certain way. And now I don't feel that way anymore. And I really want to take a chance. So the seven of pentacles, this could have been how you were looking at things. Like I'm kind of tired of sitting here waiting to see if things are going to go differently or if they're going to feel differently. And that's when the world card comes in. It's sitting right in the middle of your reading saying you are going through this shift um, try not to fight it. It hasn't quite closed itself out just yet. You may not see how this is going to benefit you in the future because it's just not as clear of a path as what you may be used to. There is a lot of earth-based energy. And when I say that, it's difficult for the earth signs to get into this new way of doing things. When we shifted out of the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius, people are having to trust and have faith in the unknown. And that's something I think that makes a lot of people uncomfortable, not just you guys, but you are so earthy based, which is what the pentacles represent. So it's saying that there is this big shift and that really you're going to have to have the faith that this is going to work out for you in the future. We'll get some clarifiers for that in just a moment. Now in the, oh, that was the current energy. Sorry. This is the near future. It's the sun, the eight of pentacles, and then the queen of swords. Remember I said, at times you'll feel discontent. You may not feel like things are going in the direction that you want. It's like you're pulling back your energy. But what they're trying to show you is that your unhappiness is surrounded by how much work you've had to put into something currently. This could also be a relationship as well. I'm not feeling that as much as I am a work situation or just basically your life in general. This is more just about you singularly. Um, with the Queen of Swords, it's saying you're turning your back on things that didn't work, that maybe you had put so much effort into and yet you still didn't find the happiness you were looking for. So her energy is saying cut through any kind of BS. This could be mental chatter. It could be anybody that gets in the way of what you want to do. I feel like you're going to cut right through it once you have that epiphany moment and decide, yes, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this chance. I'm going to follow my gut feelings and where I'm being led. Because that's truly what's going to make you happy in the long run. It isn't going to be staying stationed in something that you've been conditioned to believe is the only path that you can take. That could revolve around relationships, marriage, children, or anything else that you might feel a little bit of pressure from your surroundings. Let's say family members or even friends at times can be pushy with their perspective. And if you feel like people are doing that and not supporting you, then that's not your soul tribe. Because the people that support you, not saying that your family doesn't care and that they don't want to see you do what you want to do. They just, if they have fears, they're going to project those fears onto you. And that just makes it even more difficult. But I think you're done with that. I do feel like you're going to make a choice and it's going to be a fairly easy one. All right, so then we have justice, and that's when things in your life start to balance out. But you're going to have to recognize the signs. So when spirit comes forward or the universe comes to show you whatever you believe in, their guidance, if you ignore that guidance, you're going to have a hard time following what's going to truly make you happy, one, two, balance in your life. Now, they just said something about the justice system. So something could be coming up for you. If you are in the middle of a court case of some sort or there's something that you're dealing with in the court system, I feel like right now, okay, this is going to be very specific. 
if somebody is right in the middle of a divorce, if you made a decision and you're waiting to find out what the ruling's going to be, somebody's not paying attention to the offer. You could feel like either you are refusing or you're, the person that you're dealing with is refusing. And it seems like it's not moving in the direction that you'd hoped it would, but I think there's a little bit more waiting and then things are going to change. So that could have been the recent past and now you're dealing with that energy, energy currently. The Knight of Wands in reverse is my narcissist. So you could have been married to one or had difficulty with one and this is why there's something going on with the court system. It's going to be different for all of you. I can't possibly speculate all the different things they would give me that could surround this. Could have been arguments or fighting something uh, like a protective order for some of you. But that's one scenario. And then the other is about you moving on with your life and making this decision to really do what is going to be great for you. Now, the Eight of Wands is coming in in the current energy. So as soon as you take that chance, things are going to start moving really quickly. And it might feel a little bit scary because when, when you really do make the effort, that's when things start to pop off. And you got to hold on tight because things change fast. And then we have the Three of Swords. So this could have a lot to do with you also healing from a difficult ending to a relationship. Yes, I do think there is going to be some kind of justice in the situation. Yes, I feel like you were heartbroken. Could your person have had you in a third party? Absolutely. Um, things are going to turn around right now. I just don't see... I don't see what you don't see. In other words... There isn't an ending to it just yet. Do I think it's going to work in your favor? Yes. When you decide that you're not going to take the bullshit anymore, that's when things start to turn in your favor. And then we have the Page of Cups, which is all about a new beginning. This is you looking at life from a different perspective. This could also be having to do with children. If you have children involved in a divorce or separation, it could be a custody battle as well that's going on and you're having a hard time with that. It's hard to focus at work or on your life path <clears throat> as you're making the changes. And then we have the lovers in reverse. So you could be closing off right now to any kind of energy. It's definitely a breakup of some sort. Was it a full on marriage? Not for everybody, but it does feel like there was a choice that you had to make to leave a relationship or you're going to in the near future. And this could also just be that you're not ready to jump into another relationship just yet. Not for everyone, but for some of you. All right. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have a lot of fire here as well. So Leo, Sag, Aries. Pretty much everybody's here. The only thing I don't have strong is water, but it doesn't mean that they couldn't be someone that you're dealing with. All right. I'm going to clear this. So go ahead and think about the person that you might be inquiring about. So I've been picking this up and whatever card lands as I put these back, it came out in the opposite direction, which means I think you're going to be opening up to what is being shown to you. Try to trust those feelings that you get. Um, as a psychic medium, if you're working on that or you're doing something in this area, it's really just trusting what comes to you, what you see in your third eye. If you have a question about that, that's really going to be important because if you don't trust what you feel, see, and just have a knowing about, then it can be difficult to do the work. Otherwise, um, as soon as you start recognizing the signs or you trust in what you're getting, that's when you can take off and do that, that kind of work. All right. So I'm going to take a peek at you and your person. Just saw the Hierophant in reverse. So if you're inquiring about a relationship that is ending or a marriage that is ending, I just saw that, yes, obviously it's clarifying that it's coming to an end. Could have happened a long time ago. It's just the energy is popping up. We're doing a lot of releasing about way past stuff, like way, way past at this full moon eclipse. Eclipses are about eclipsing something or someone out of your life. So it could be that you are finally releasing any frustration, anger, feelings, emo anything around that relationship that seemed to have been really, really painful. All right, so the person that you're inquiring about, the devil in reverse, then we have the hangman in reverse, judgment, and the nine of wands. This is somebody who's been through some tough stuff. And right now they're putting a lot of toxic behaviors and things behind them. They're coming out of a, an energy of feeling stuck. And I think they're making a decision to really stand up and fight for what they want. Um, your energy is the five of cups, the ace of swords in reverse, the ace of cups, and then the six of cups in reverse. So... 
you getting through this sadness that I'm talking about, could that have to do with this person? Absolutely. I think this person really does love you. And if you're not with them right now, they're praying that things will work out. They've been through a lot of shit. I've said shit a lot in this video, so <laughs> I don't normally cuss this much, but it seems like that's the weight of it is there's just a lot of shit going on. Now, if you look at it, the way it comes out, it's like toxic behaviors are being put to rest. That helps somebody get unstuck. They start to do some praying. Maybe they're opening up to their spiritual journey as well. And the nine of wands just says to the wounded warrior, they've been through a lot and they wear their scars well. Or they're trying to at least and they're trying to get past whatever those things are and just move forward with what they've learned from the experiences that they've had now for you it looks like there's a part of you that can't see past what's already happened and realize that you still have much fulfillment behind you there's always a path that's leading to another direction that's that clarity that i don't think you have around the relationship right now but there is an opportunity. I think you want this to either be revived, <clears throat> excuse me, or you want to be open to this relationship taking a turn. If you're with this person currently, there's a possibility that this could be renewed, which is a, a great thing if they're starting to shift and do the work that they have to do. But if it's about trying to decide whether you should walk away from them, there is an opportunity for new love, which would not be somebody from your past. So that's, again, not for everybody, but for some of you. There's the Three of Pentacles. So it's about collaborating. It's about working through things with someone and trying to come to some kind of an agreement about how things are going to be and how they should look. All right, so we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There's a lot of that releasing going on right now. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Love yourself first. This is the big one. This is going to be the huge one for everybody right now. It is in general. It's what all of us are really seeking is to love ourselves first. It's a lot of our soul's journeys, the ones that are here now. So this is going to be important, especially moving forward, if you decide to walk away from one and start anew. And then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Overall, energy separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So even though you may be really, really, <clears throat> I don't know why I have such a scratch in my throat. Sorry. Even though you may be really passionate about this person and have a lot of chemistry with them, maybe you hoped that this was the person you were going to marry, if they're going through the healing and that's what I see. If they haven't come out the other side of it, this is spirit saying, love you first. And if they do their work, then great. You can renew that relationship. But if that person doesn't show up the way that you need them to, clearly they're saying, then you need to move on and find something new. And that's just a personal choice. I just want to give you the energy. So let's go ahead and get some advice for you. This is for Virgo. So we have, see, this is somebody from the past that might be showing up, but it's showing here that if they can't fix it, then you move on to something new. The Hermit in reverse is saying you've learned a lot. Your wisdom is beyond. There's your card right there. And if you're not quite feeling like yourself, as you shift more into loving you and feeling more like you again, that's where you make your decision from. The Six of Wands is saying that right now things are not going to be successful. So just know that loving you first is the Queen of Cups. 